everyone, Starmie Strike here, and in this video, I'm going to be giving my thoughts about the new Spirit Riding Free promo trailer that came out on the Disney Channel. Now, this trailer was actually put onto YouTube by someone, so if you want to watch that trailer now, I'll put the link to the YouTube video of it here in the description of this video. So you can go ahead and watch that if you haven't seen it yet, and then now I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts about it. I first want to point out that in this trailer, it says, Coming Summer of 2017 still isn't giving us an exact date or month, but at least we do know that it'll be coming out probably pretty soon here. The second thing I really want to bring up is the fact that this is on the Disney Channel. It's actually quite surprising because at the end of this little trailer, it actually says, only on the Disney Channel. So far, it does seem like it is still coming out on Netflix because there is still a like little page, little setup on Netflix for the show. But now it is apparently also coming out on the Disney Channel, which I am quite surprised about since this is made by DreamWorks and not Disney. The next thing I want to talk about here is the animation, because now we actually get a pretty decent look at what the animation is going to look like for this show. So it is definitely a 3D animation style. It is not the 2D style that the original Spirit was. And I will admit, this actually isn't quite as bad as I was fearing that it was going to be. I was worried that the animation was going to look really bad, but this actually isn't all that bad as I was expecting. I actually kind of like the fact that it's a little bit stylized. It is not trying to look realistic. It is not trying to mimic 2D animation. It's just kind of its own thing. I think the animation for the human characters looks okay, and the animation for the horses actually isn't that bad either. The horses do look a bit stylized. They're not really proportioned to look like super realistic horses or anything. But I think as a whole, this does kind of work for what it is. This show is not trying to be that really gorgeous animation style that the original Spirit was. It's not trying to be like really realistic or anything. It just kind of is being what it is, a not super big budget cartoon series. Would I have preferred it to be in the 2D animation style that the original Spirit was in? Yes, of course, but honestly, this is seriously not nearly as, as bad as I was expecting. I think the animation is, is, is okay. I will say there were quite a few little moments within this trailer that I thought Spirit looked super duper cute in. The animation might not be perfect, but it does seem like it has a few nice moments in it. All right, now to talk a bit about the story. So the narrator of this TV show is a little cliche in my opinion. The story still reminds me just a lot of Horseland for some reason. I just still get this kind of Horseland vibe from it. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing, though, because I do really love Horseland. Of course, I still can't really judge how the exact story is going to go, just based on this short little minute and a half trailer. It doesn't seem terrible to me. It's not, of course, going to be as good and as well thought out as the original Spirit movie was, but I think as a kid's show, it seems, it seems kind of cute, I think. I don't know, I gotta admit, Spirit Riding Free is kind of growing on me. At first, I was not liking it at all because what I really wanted, like a lot of people, was a good sequel to the original Spirit movie. But as a spin-off show, this doesn't seem so bad. I do have to admit, it's kind of grown on me right now. I'm actually really excited to watch it and see what it's like. I also feel like this show does have some potential to it. I hope they give uh, the characters some maybe interesting character development. They have the opportunity to make some pretty good characters, I think, if they really work on it and hire the right writers for it. And it's possible, too, that maybe the show could get better as it goes along, but it does fairly successful in its first round. Maybe they'll be able to make it even better down the line. Something else interesting I've noticed is that the horses don't look like they talk, which I am kind of glad about because I do feel like if they did talk, then it would be a little bit too much like Horseland. And since the horses in the original Spirit didn't talk either, I think it's good that they're kind of sticking to that same sort of format where only the humans talk and we just kind of get a sense of what the horses are thinking through their body language and emotions. Based on the trailer, I'm not sure exactly how to gauge on the actual stories like for each episode will be, if they will be more plot driven and very childish, or if they actually might be pretty good. I don't know yet on how that'll play out. But so far, as I've said, it, it doesn't seem nearly as bad as I was expecting, and it is, it is kind of growing on me. Unfortunately, that's all I really have right now for this video. I would like to go more in depth and give more thoughts on this, but right now I just kind of don't have the time. 
hopefully maybe in a few days I can go back through this trailer and maybe we can analyze each shot or something. I think that would be kind of fun. If I have the time, I will try to do something like that. But then that is all for this video for now. Let me know in the comments what you think about this Spirit Riding Free promo trailer. And tell me if you like the animation for this series or not. I'm always curious to see what other people's opinions are. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all the latest on Spirit Riding Free. I hope you guys have a super duper awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!